What's happening, Sip and Show family? I better turn this off before they get me. <laughs> happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday. It is your guy, Coach Reg. Come on in, come on in. Excited to hang out with you. And um, yeah, it's showtime. Friday afternoon. Welcome to the weekend, or early evening, I guess. Welcome to the weekend. Welcome to all of you who will catch this live, to include those who will get this on replay. Happy Friday. Hey, Auntie, how are you? Welcome back to the lounge. Hey, Tanya, how are you? Happy Friday to everyone. Come on in, come on in. If you don't have your beverage, you might want to get one or not. And beverages don't have to be alcoholic. They can be whatsoever you choose. Man, it's good to be back with you for another weekend. Glad you are here with me. So yeah, before we get into the topic, I have to say again, Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who supported the grand opening of the Sip and Chill VIP. Yeah, it was awesome, <laughs> and the, the room the room was great. And it's and it's it's so cool because there are people you get to come in this safe space, men and women, right, to hear and be heard, right, to share your perspectives, learn other perspectives that may help you as you negotiate and navigate through relationships. I mean, it is phenomenal. And, and again, to, to be able to curate this space with quality people who have real issues, real concerns or real questions, I'm sorry, and to not feel that you're going to be ridiculed or chastised, oh, what are you talking about, or none of that. It is so cool. Why? Because we all bring a perspective. And the idea is to be better. Yeah. Yeah. So VIP is, is pretty cool. And if you don't know about it, which I'm sure you do, because all of you have gotten or should have gotten your DMs from my assistant, Adrienne, and uh, explains more about it, how you can learn more about it. If you have questions, you can totally get on my calendar at bit.ly sip and chill VIP. I can post it, but again, you have that information. Be more than happy to share and share with you um, the benefits of being a member of VIP. So yeah, excited about that, excited about that. And again, thank you guys all, to all of you who supported it and commented as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how was your week? I had a good week. Yeah. Happiest weekend. And not, not just that, it's a long weekend too. Yeah. So again, regardless of your beverage choice, this is what I chose. Mm. I told you, I think I mentioned to you that in the fall, autumn, it's my beverage of choice. A nice small back. Yay, Tanya. Yes, yes, that's awesome. Glad your week was good. Hope everyone else's week was good as well. So I'm wondering if this topic is going to be interesting. You know, I'm sorry. Let me step back. I guess I should tell you who I am. A lot of you know me. But yeah, it's your guy, Coach Reg, right? Relationship coach. Founder of RU Coach, a relationship coaching platform geared toward helping individuals identify, participate, strengthen, and sustain healthy relationships. You can learn more about me and what I do with my background at areyoucoached.com. You can also, well, actually, I'm also the founder of Sip and Show with Coach Reg, which is where we are now, right? So yeah, as you come in, uh, please say hello. Happy you are here and looking forward to your sharing. I hope that you saw the posts this week, kind of as we led up to this uh, topic for this evening. And um, yeah, yeah, situationships. So before I get into it, I want, I want to share with you that um, this I found this article, right? When this topic kind of came to me, I thought about, I said, you know, let me just see what, what's out there on situationships, right? And I found this really good article at Healthline. And uh, hey, Kev, what's up, buddy? How are you, big bro? Happy Friday, sir. Welcome to the weekend. Um, yeah, so I found this article and I thought it was really cool. And I said, man, this is some really good information that, hey, I think it'd be worthy for the group and for us to, to talk about. And so, uh, yeah, not my, not my information, but definitely going to credit those who did. And again, it's at healthline.com. Uh, Carly Vandergrit actually wrote this article. Now I'm not going to, uh, hit her whole, whole entire article, but what I want to do is kind of talk about what a situation ship is, right? Uh, what that looks like, um, what you can do about it and how to end it if that's what you want to do, right? Because this is all choice. This is not a, I think you should do it. This is what's best. No, we're not doing that. 
This is just uh, sharing. So before we get, not before we get into it, but as we get into it. So tell me, who wants to share first? Now, I know you can't type that. I mean, I'm sorry. I know typing can be, uh, it's not as fast as speaking. But um, so I'll throw it out there and I put it out in the group. But what is your definition or what are your thoughts of a, of a situation ship? Have you ever been in one, right? If you were in one, did you realize you were? Or did, you know, what, did, what, did, what are your thoughts on situation ships? I'll wait for a bit. Yeah. Like I said, when you come in, please say hello. Um, let me know you're here. And uh, yeah, we can rock and roll. Situation ships are fun. You know what, Tanya? They totally can be. <laughs> they totally can be. I have had some of those in my lifetime, and they can be fun until they're not, right? And that's the that's the thing. You know, it's, um, yeah, it's really a, uh, they can be a mess. Oh, you have Diani. Okay. Uh, so Tanya and Diani have signed up. They they have raised their hands with me. Yes, situation shifts are real, and we have participated. So the one who defined us as one. Oh, wow. oh okay. Okay, Diani. <laughs> Look at you setting expectations early. I'm not mad at you. I'm not. <laughs> hey, fellas, don't be shy. Oh, you know what? Listen, before. We... Listen, I got to say this. Guys, listen, my guys, this is for my guys. Please hear me and hear my heart. I have been remiss. I have. I have. I have. Listen, um, look, I don't feel I have done the best job of making you feel included because this is an inclusive space, right? Sip and Chill and VIP is an inclusive space of men and women. And so what I wanna do is make sure that you know that I wanna hear from you, all right? So if there's some things that you wanna talk about, it's like, hey, Coach Raj, I need you to, we need to talk about this because we need the ladies to hear this or whatever. Hey, listen, let's let's do that, let's do that because I don't want you to think that this is, it's it leans more towards women and I recognize that and I know that that's what I began doing until it became more inclusive and adding, including men. So again, charge that to my head, not my heart, and we're gonna definitely do better. So I wanna hear from you, fellas, I do. I wanna know what you think about this situation ship. Uh, if you've had them, you know, if you dig them, if it's something that you're like, hey, you know, um, I don't know if those are good for me, or whatever the case may be, yeah, let's talk about it. So I just wanted to let you know, fellas, I'm here for you too. I'm here for everybody, men and women, okay? Fellas and chicas, that's what we do. It's sip and chill. So, Deanna, you said, you defined it, got that. And then you went on to say, you have to be honest with yourself when one person starts to catch feelings, gets feelings for the other, and whether or not you want to love, move forward or end it. Yeah, yeah, Deanna, that's pretty interesting because guess what? That's actually some of the things that part of what we're gonna talk about tonight. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, listen, situationships are, I don't know. I mean, again, it's to a person. You know, and like Tanya said, they can totally be fun. Hey, Virginia, how you doing? Happy Friday. Happy Friday and welcome, welcome, welcome back to the lounge. Yeah, they can totally be fun until they're not, right? Hey, Tammy, happy Friday. Good evening to you. Yeah, they can be fun and um, it can be exciting also, right? And they can be easy. I think that's another thing that they can be, right? Um, and unfortunately, until they're not, right? But I mean, if everybody's, if the two people are willing, hey, you know, rock on. Because situationships don't have to be bad, right? Because they can turn into something more than that, as long as you have those conversations. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to get into all of those things. We're going to get into all those things. So fellas, I hope you heard me. The love is real. It's not just for the ladies. It is totally for the fellas as well. So definitely don't be shy. You know, type your comments, share those, because we want to hear from you. I want to hear from you, and I know for a fact the ladies want to hear from you in terms of how you feel about it and what you think about it, okay? All right, so Deani, and a lot of times when it starts as a situation ship, they don't want to be honest with their feelings. Man, Deani, I'm going to ask, have you seen my notes? <laughs> you know, some of y'all, y'all are sharp. I love this. But but it speaks to, right, what you are, what you've lived, what you've experienced, right? Because no one can speak to this unless you have actually experienced it, right? So, so yeah. I think it's um I think this is good. I think this is very good. So let's uh absolutely Deanna, you gotta be true to you. Gotta be true to you and what you want. Yes, so true. And listen, not just you, really encouraging the other person, but that's the part that we can control, right? The thing of 
of um, of our part. We can't we can't control the other person how, how they feel about it, but we totally can 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 account for ourselves, right? Tracy, what's up, bro? Situationships are false. <laughs> I would like you to elaborate, my man. How do you mean? I I don't want to assume, but please share more. And for those of you who didn't catch Tracy, I'm sorry, don't know who Tracy is. Tracy was in our, he was in our, he was in VIP with us last weekend, so um, last Friday. So definitely, good, good bro, got some good stuff to share. So yeah, definitely want to learn more. Hey, Sharice, how are you? Situationships are easier to control being let down. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, 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 they can be right. And if the emotion is not there, or you tell yourself that I'm not going to get caught up. I'm not going to catch feelings. The thing about it though, guys, this is not a logical proposition. It's not. Because the challenge is, it's a matter of the heart. And when you deal with matters of the heart, yeah, it's a little different. Okay, Sharice, as a black woman, you're tired of being let down by black men. Okay. Okay. And I am sincerely sorry that that has been your experience. Um, you know, that is, I mean, we as people disappoint one another. Um, and, you know, I don't know, I would love to learn more about those disappointments and maybe talk about how you can, um, you know, mitigate some of that. And what I mean by mitigate is not so much you can control being disappointed. It's that you can put steps in place to not get that far with you. But you basically, you manage the getting to know, you manage the, the thing. And if they, if, and, and trust their actions, right? We, you know, people, people will say things all the time, but it really is more around the person, um, you letting how you feel be known. And if they're not willing to honor that and acknowledge that, and they may say they do, but if their actions don't align, yeah, definitely. And I, I you know, I, I shouldn't say sorry. I don't know if sorry is the right word, but I, I, I really hate that that's been your experience. Um, and that you are, you're tired of being disappointed. Um, not, not, not cool. Not cool. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Boundaries are important. And that's kind of how you mitigate, right? That's, a, that's a way to mitigate. It doesn't mean you won't be disappointed, but you can totally have the things you value, the th your standards and your boundaries. Okay. Tanya, I've broadened my horizons. Cherise, I'm going to be happy. Yay. Yay. Like it. Like it. It's all perspective. It's how we think about it, right? It's totally how we think about it and and what we allow. So let's get into situationships according to the article. So according to the article, situationships, right, are romantic relationships that are undefined or uncommitted. They may be based on convenience or short-term circumstances. It doesn't mean that short I'm, I'm sorry, it doesn't mean the situationships or cannot have some or all of the trappings of a regular relationship, including an emotional connection. And you, we talk about that often, especially as a man to woman, to a woman, it's important to, it's important to know that for men, that emotional connection is paramount because absent of an emotional connection from man to woman, not to suggest that a woman's emotional connection is not important. That's not what I'm saying to you, but as a man, it should be our idea. And if that emotional connection is in play, you're no longer random. We view you differently. We feel about you differently. And we're going to be more likely to consider our ways and the choices that we make because you're not random, because we are emotionally connected to you. It's, it's, it's next level. It's next level at that point. Okay, there's been some comments. Hold on. Let me not miss them. Um, Sharice, absolutely. But a situation ship is easier because you have more control because the physicalness is definitely... Me. Yeah. Yeah. And if you can handle that... Um, if you can handle that physical intimacy, yeah. I, listen, there's no right or wrong here. Because remember, we don't assign the value of right and wrong. This is about choice. So it's not if someone says I can do it or I shouldn't do it or I participate or I don't. It's not right or wrong. It's totally, um, it's totally around what you choose and what works for you, right? And only you know that. No one can tell you what you should do, shouldn't do. If I were you, no, that's not how this rolls. That's not how this goes. All right, so Sharice, I understand need them to, but not waiting around to be lonely. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we got situationships down, right? We kind of, I think we have a, 
pretty good idea what those are. Many of us have been a part of them and participated on some level. Uh, but let me ask you, let me ask you this before we get into the, the content of it. Has anyone in this that's online right now, and if you're catching this on replay, I would like to, I would love to hear the response. Are you, um, have you been in a situation that actually became a regular relationship, a successful relationship? Just curious, just type it in the comments for me. I just, I'm just curious to learn if that's true. Um, just, I mean, if, I'm sorry, not true, if it has been your experience. Okay, Gwen says, emotional connections and situationships are very dangerous for both men and women. Physical is easy, emotional connections not. 1,000%, Gwen, 1,000%. My gosh, yes, so, so true, so true. And it is dangerous, right? I mean, the physical stuff, you do that any day. I mean, you really don't need to be connected to someone to be physical. You could just find them attractive, attractive. And you might be attracted to what you see physically. But what works is what you can't see. And that's what you need. And if that's absent, it's going to be a problem. And it's going to have a shelf life, right? So, um, Tanya, yes, a regular but unsuccessful relationship. Right. Okay. Okay. Regular but unsuccessful. Okay. Thank you for that, Tanya. Thank you. Thank you. I miss one. Okay. Diani. Also, let's see, honestly, it triggers back to what you want in moving forward. Um, when you want to move forward in a relationship, putting your feelings forward and loving yourself regardless. Yeah. Yeah, Diani. See, you see, you you choose to honor you. And a lot of women do, a lot of people do, men and women. Okay. But I think it's great that that you, that you do that. But it's not always easy, but it's necessary, right? And again, the subtlety of a situation ship. And again, if it's easy and it's cool, like, cause you may just be in a space in your life that that's, that's enough just to kind of hang out, you know, and, and just not be committed. It's not committal. It's just fun because that's the whole fun part. And as long as it's fun, Hey, the, if the two people are just cool with that, Hey, it can, they can last into perpetuity. They could, if the two people are on the same page. So that's why I said it's not about a right or wrong, if it can work or not, if it's good or bad. It's really whatever those two people decide they want it to be. And if they're in agreement, it's called a win. It's called a win. See, Deanna says you have to separate the physical attraction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do, Deanna. It's not always easy to do that. Okay, who do we have? I see Gwen says he developed an emotional connection and was disappointed that I had not. I enjoyed our connection, but I had to end it because he can no longer handle the looseness and zero commitment status. Yeah, wow. Wow. Damn shame too. <laughs> so, so Gwen, is it, is, is it a damn shame because you um, didn't feel the same for him? Or is it a damn shame that he, he kind of slipped into becoming emotionally connected to you? Absolutely, Pamela. It's a win if they stay in agreement. 100%. 100%. Um, Gwen says, I'm sorry, Sharice says, this is so common for me. Wow. Okay, so so let me make sure I'm making, make, let me follow this. So there's a couple of women who've said that, that, that men have become emotionally connected to you, but you didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't reciprocated. And, and as a result, uh, you chose to move on. Wow. Okay. Tracy, it's a placeholder. Over time, something will give. Yeah, and it did for those ladies, for sure. Honestly, I think men are more sensitive to situations. <laughs> you do, huh? Deanna, tell me more. Tell me more. You think <laughs> sensitive to situationships in terms of getting caught up? Okay. I, I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. I don't, I, I need to, I want to hear more though. Say, so Gwen says, the sex was hotness, but I had to end it because he was made he made me suffer for not loving me. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is honest. I love this. This is great. This is great. Tanya agrees with Trace. Um, wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so the fellas are struggle more with situationships. Now, now in fairness, I, listen, listen. I, I want to be as transparent with you as I can be, um, and that is is safe to be. No, I'm joking, but um, that I can be. And yeah, I, I would agree. As a man, I've had a couple of a couple of experiences, a few experiences actually, where I met people 
that um, that that happened. This was obviously well, I should say obviously some time ago, um, but in my lifetime, right? So I know, and I kind of I kind of get it, because what happens is if you are a caring person as a man, if you're caring, um, and you like what you're learning about a person, see that's what I'm saying to you. It's not just the physical. The physical is like icing on the cake. Because if you like what you're learning about the person or the, you started with the physical and then what you learned that you couldn't see, you said, man, this is awesome, too. You can easily slip into that, you know, maybe wanting to put someone, um, you know, trying to fit that square peg in a round hole. It can happen because this is the thing. And ladies, I'm glad you I'm glad you are aware that situationships may be challenging for men, because guess what? For those of you who say we don't care, we don't have feelings. Hello. You're proving us wrong. You're proving us right. We've been telling you we have feelings. We do care. We may not be as vocal. We may not verbalize them as much. We may not even articulate them as often, but we do have them. And so when you're saying that men have become emotionally connected to you, that suggests he cares, which means we are capable. And so although we may disappoint you and let you down, we're human. I'm not saying excuse bad behavior. What I am saying is this notion that because I've heard this not necessarily from you all. But it is difficult. I mean, men, men, we do care and we do have feelings and they do matter just as yours do. OK, that's why I say, you know, we there's a lot of similarities between men and men and women. We definitely we differ on some things, but it's definitely it's definitely difficult. It can be difficult for us as well. OK, Cherie says. Uh, what often happens is men say they don't want a relationship. So I'll close places of me that doesn't get there. A piece of me that falls to become so I give up. Let's see. Wait a minute. Then the piece of me they fall for becomes too much to give up. It already decided that you were in a different lane. So let me let me ask a question then, because I hear you on that. Let me ask you this, Sharice. When that's happened in your experiences, do you come back to the table to have a conversation? Because here's the thing: this is the thing about situationships. You can change your mind. You, you really can. People can. Right. So I may have said this because understand, sometimes we may say things as men that are that are um, that's how we feel in the moment because we're in the protect mode because we're not trying to get hurt. Nobody's trying to get hurt. We just do it, go about it differently. But then when we realize, well, wait a minute, I actually dig her. Then you got to come back to the table and have a different conversation. Now, if nothing has changed, then nothing has changed. And that's OK. But it is perfectly OK because it's so nebulous in the beginning to change your mind and you can have a conversation about it. So my question, Sharice, is this. When that's happened, did you guys revisit the original agreement of we're just kicking it? I'm just curious about that. I'm just curious. OK, Diani, I feel like men are more subtle to the fact that we want a situation and they just want a relationship after they catch feelings. They feel as we should jump to it, even though we are. Their ego comes into play. Okay. Yes, Tanya, 1000%. And we do as men need to articulate. And I would I would ask you to let them know that. Hey, dude, hey, bro, listen, where, where are you with this? Because we, we, we're grown. We don't need to do this, right? Let's not waste each other's time. Let's just be what, let's, that's, it is what it is, right? Not, it, I hate that. It's not so much it is what it is, but let's have a conversation. That's all. At least make the effort to. Ah, oh, man. Um, okay, Tanya, men like the chase. When the chase is over, they get bored. Yeah, true, true. Not going to argue that point, Tanya. Tammy moved on. Sharice says, but that's a conversation a man needs to initiate because I may be reading it wrong. Well, here's the thing, right? And, 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 and Sharice, listen to me. I don't, I'm not suggesting assume anything, nor am I suggesting take anything for granted. What I'm asking you to think or consider or just not even, I'm not asking you to do it. I just want to throw it out there. It's probably better stated. If you, if, if the man, um, if you're wondering about something, it's, it's a question. You know, because in, in which you're, in which you can ask the question around what you've experienced with him. Like if it's an action or a comment that was made, maybe that becomes the launch point for the conversation. That takes the guesswork out, takes the assumption out off the table. And now you understand. You don't have to read anything into it. And, and this is my point. We got to do a better job of communicating, right? We absolutely have to do a better job of communicating because how we feel. Communicating doesn't mean weakness. I don't want to be the one to say something. No, hey, it's okay to say, listen, you know, I, um, 
I, I, I have some questions, right? So, I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense, Sharice. Please let me know, because I'm not challenging you. I, I hear what you're saying. I just, I just wish that we would, men and women would do a better job of, of talking to each other about stuff, how we feel about stuff, right? I do. Okay, Tracy says, I disagree, but if you put a, if you put in a physical box, you're not entitled to move to the our most valuable resource, time. Women assess the situation based on what men offer. Okay, Trace. That's, and see, what we're talking about is perspective, right? Because our perspectives are born and shaped from our experiences. Yeah. I hate you, Trace. Tanya, got it. Okay, Diani. Been in situationships. I wanted a relationship with another man because I don't feel like they are the full package for what I'm looking for, but they are good enough for a situationship. Yeah, that's what Tracy said, Diani. That's called a placeholder, sweetheart. Yeah. They just, they just, they just, hey, they something to do, literally and figuratively, right? Until whatever better comes along. Yeah, for sure. Sharice, I have what they do. I have what they deny how they feel. So then I'm like, still, so then I'm like, I still have sex with you and be good and be the one trip. <laughs> Listen, Sharice, I hear you, right? And when that happens, right, if, if, if the man is not willing to be honest, Right. If you attempt to have that conversation and he's he's being dishonest, then you don't you get to choose. Right. You know, the, the word boundaries was thrown out earlier. Just put up boundaries. Right. And and that way um, you 